Hello butterflies. I am looking forward to guiding you through today's reading. I've already done and completed your reading and it was so amazing to walk you through the space of truly owning yourself and owning your power in this moment of transformation. The card that I wanted to bring to you that I hope guides you in this reading is Truth Seeker. You will see in today's reading how this card truly comes to summarize and connect with what you're being called to within your intuition, within your higher wisdom, and how you truly are within this astral plane of connecting to your highest purpose. Seeking the truth does not mean you're using this in a way that is harming others or to have a one-up on somebody else. But being a truth seeker means that you are seeking the rightful path to freedom and elevating the spirits of others around you and answering the call of why you're here in this particular lifetime. I hope that you enjoy today's reading and I will see you there. Have a wonderful reading, butterflies. Hello butterflies and welcome to Monique's Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading. Welcome, hello to those new faces and also welcome back to faces that are returning. As always, let's just center ourselves today and burn a bit of Palo Santo just to connect with the energy and the offerings from our guides and spirit today. Hope you all are healing well in the areas that are needed as we work on this transformation work together. I hope that you have gotten some good food. <laughs> that's always important. I have a taste for uh, some ramen right now, so that's a thing. But welcome to the space. As always, share with your community and like as you see fit. And you can always support by listening to the podcast or donating to the channel as it grows with the link below. Okay, butterflies, as you can see here, we have a few decks that we'll be working with to see your daily reading and the insights from the guides. We'll be jumping into one, some understandings from the Starlight deck. We'll dip into some Starlight frequencies today, which I'm very excited to open up for you. We'll go into how you can elevate your spirit, heal, surprises you can expect, of course, work endeavors and others and how those interactions are happening within your life. And then we'll also get into some healing and um, one card for healing just to pass you on some methods of really grounding yourself and moving through this energy and space during this time. Okay, so to start off with butterflies, let's jump into the Starlight Frequency cards. And I really love these cards because they help us to connect with the unconscious and also why we're here, why we're being guided here and connecting here within this space. So these starlight cards are really about tapping into the abilities that the guides want you to know and realize for yourself now. So thank you to the guides for welcoming this space. Insights from the guides for this daily reading. Insights from the guides for this daily reading. Insights from the guides and spirit with starlight energy. Insights from the guides welcoming starlight frequencies into the space for today's daily reading. Hmm. 
Okay. So the first card that we have here, butterflies, is astral plane. You have the ability to experience and gather insight from the earth, cosmos, and beyond. So there's a bit of wisdom here, isn't there? How can you tap into what you know? What have you gathered and what knowledge are you breaking open? You can see here with the astral plane that it is breaking open that kind of dissonance and distance between the higher ground and your human self, your human body. It's opening up that spiritual realm to allow more light in and allow you to completely connect and gather insight from the guides. So what insight have the guides really been pushing towards you and encouraging you to embrace and welcome? Also here what's showing up is infinite wisdom along those same lines. You are the source and you hold all of the power you require within. We are giving you the tools to unlock these doors now. I see that some of you are breaking barriers. You are breaking through those past strifes that you've moved through. You're moving through past generational traumas. You're moving through things that you didn't think you would accomplish. You are given infinite wisdom from this opening of the astral plane. There's so much light that's just being shown down into you and being brought into your abilities and gifts. And then we have here singing stones. So raise your vibration order to create the reality you seek. The universe will match and return it to you in tenfold. I'll just repeat that one again. Raise your vibration in order to create the reality you seek. The universe will match and return it to you in tenfold. As you gain more wisdom, as you're given more light, you are being required and given a responsibility to really raise the vibration of others around you. For some of you, you could do this without even knowing. People are just drawn to you. They sense your energy, they feel your energy, and they feel a pull towards you. But there's also a responsibility in that, not to just receive this attention, but also to give back. How can you allow your energy to really push out to others? With numerology here, singing stones, stones of light, we have three triangles here that are overlapping. We also have kind of the sun ray that's opening up. There's a bit of joy that's coming from this card in connection to higher abilities of creativity and communication and also imagination. If you look at this card, the number is 39. So if you break that down, that goes to 12, which is very much a powerful number within numerology. But if we break that down even further, there's that creativity and communication. So there's a raise here with this sun ray and sunlight that's coming out and also within infinite wisdom there's a timelessness to it so for many of you you may have been told that you are wise beyond your years you're seeing things before they happen you're having this ability to really connect with your full self and others and people they know that recognize that and they want to know more so I'm seeing a lot of magnetic energy that's coming from you butterflies in the first part of this reading Let's put these to the side here and let's get into the weekly reading ahead. Again here, we will be diving into ways of elevating your spirit, methods of healing, things you can expect within your work endeavors, how you can support others or interactions with others around you, and then any unexpected surprises that may come about. Thank you and welcome the angelic realm and messages from the guides into this reading. Thinking messages from the angelic guides into this reading. Thinking messages from spiritual guidance within this reading. Methods of elevating spirit, 
methods of healing, work and business endeavors, how we can support others, and any unexpected surprises the collective can expect today. And I'm going to do one more shuffle and ask assistance and guides for a clarification into these realms of life. Okay, butterflies, what I am seeing here, give me a moment just to take in the messages from this deck. Before I do that, what's showing up right here at the top of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, you may need to put in a bit more work or you're being called to a particular situation that requires more work with the material in particular, with it being Pentacles here. There could also be a call to have more work done with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. If you can see here, there's like this hard work manner that's being done here, but there's also observation within this card. So as much as you need to do hard work, you also need to observe. And we saw this here with your first cards of infinite wisdom. So many of you are being called to tap into wisdom to get work done that needs to be in this present moment. I can also see on the back here that there is justice inverted. So there may be some type of justice in your life that has gone unmet or gone unanswered. If we open up the deck here, I'm seeing that there's the nine of cups. So with some of you, you're almost to that point of full celebration, but you're really looking around and admiring how you've been able to manage your emotions through this. Some people may have doubted you. They may have thought, oh, they will not get through that situation. But but despite the work that needed to be done, you have been able to tap into that infinite wisdom, get messages from the guides, receive internal kind of solace and connection. And those singing stones, I'm sensing that that's actually kind of a precursor for joy here. We have these singing stones. I think this is a precursor for joy, a precursor for a celebration that will be around the corner. And on the inside, on the other side of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, which could represent celebration, very much so. So if we continue looking at just how you can elevate your spirit, I see that for this day, some of you are coming out of a time of conflict where you have been in the midst of something or you may have even been the central player within it with the five of swords you can see that this person here has kind of taken things from everyone else at all costs and there's a call for freedom here with fives a call for expression there's something here with the queen of wands which could potentially represent maybe a fleeting character some type of passionate woman figure it doesn't have to be uh, gendered though here within tarot. It could also mean that this is someone who is fully aware of how to drive passion and creativity. They do it without ease, but it seems like there was someone here or potentially a group of people with it being that five of swords energy that may have done some things unfairly. And either you or someone else is now being in this position of how do I use my wisdom and passion here? How do I will my way through this difficult situation? So there's a call to elevate through the situation with your light. And I think that's where the astral plane card is definitely coming in. And how you're healing. There's definitely some past kind of contract, some past um, maybe family tie, some people may have been married. If you're not married, this could also mean like a family contract, maybe a birth certificate of some time, some kind. I also think it's always interesting with the Hierophant that there's kind of two keys that are on the drapery of the Hierophant. And there's also kind of this holding up of two fingers. 
And you also have two people that are kind of at the beck and the call of this individual as the Hierophant, kind of all things law, all things right, all things in order. There may be from this particular situation with the Five of Swords that you're working to elevate your spirit from and heal, there was some type of past contract or expectation that may have fell short, where there were some discussions that were had in a manner that was throwing stones, that was harsh, that was bringing out the worst in people, and it's had you up and working. The Nine of Wands in its most positive form means that you've been putting in the work to make things work. You've been putting in the work to make things happen, but you're still up against some type of difficulty with the Five of Swords. The Queen of Wands on your side is showing that you have the ability to push through it. You could be potentially dealing also with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So think about the Queen of Wands as leading your emotional path with how you can elevate your spirit and how you're working to heal. It looks like you're kind of in your head a bit though with your passion. So we'll get some clarifications on that with the oracle cards but for now this feels very heady with you in particular and then it also seems like there are some outside forces there that may have you in your head because of the conflict they had that's interrupted this family tie looking here at your work endeavors you are coming out of a time of strife for some of you this may mean that you've had some sneaky conversations where people are maybe moving through not honoring your work they were perhaps potentially taking credit for your work in some cases and meanwhile you were taking on most of the load you were doing so much of the work you were getting things done but you're not you haven't been getting the credit that you need for it. What I'm sensing from here is a call to speak up for yourself. How can you speak up for yourself? How can you lean on those in community with this Four of Wands connection point energy that's coming up for you? How can you lean on others that are colleagues within your workspace that could help you? How could you get into that? And if there are contracts that need to be put on the table, so that you can legitimately have solid conversations instead of being on shaky ground. There's no questioning a contract that's written, but if it's not written, then there's no way of moving through that properly. So there's definitely, I'm sensing here, credit has not been given, but there's also some structures that have not been put in place and you're taking on way too much work. So it may be time to delegate and delegate. <laughs> okay, with others around you, emotionally, with the Four of Cups here, you or someone else is experiencing some choice that they need to make within their home life. I see the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands, so that tells me right away, home is not happy right now. The Four of Cups is showing that you or someone else around you may be uh, sitting on a choice, like, do I take this, do I not? The structure and the foundation and the stability is very shaky. With the Four of Wands being overturned here, I'm also seeing there might not be some community or family support that would typically be there. And coming through the Seven of Wands energy that's kind of just dove in here, there may be something there where there is some trickery that's um, still needing to be revealed because we do have the Seven of Cups that's inverted showcased here. And if we look at the potential surprises that you may have, the Page of Wands, which is kind of like the youth and birth of ideas, kind of like furious, unfocused ideas and passion, that's overturned. So there could be someone that maybe had too many choices in their life, or you have had too many choices recently within your life. And instead of that passion being upright, fiery, and focused, and more of like this Queen of Wands position that's at the front of your reading. Right now, it's very fleeting. It's very um, immature in some ways with Page of Wands being inverted and it is unfocused. So there needs to be some type of direction that's being brought back to that. Okay, butterflies, let's jump into your Oracle cards here. Inside of your guides. 
for oracle clarification for this daily reading. Insights from the guides for oracle clarification from this daily reading. Insights from the guides from oracle cards for this daily reading. I'm just going to clear the space a bit here just to ease any blockages and tensions that those may be feeling and listening to this reading. There's definitely a path that's being shown here as I kind of still myself here. There's a path that's being shown here, an opportunity to really move through the heart of relationships. It's so easy within relationships to just kind of assume that they will be there or assume that they are um, stable. And sometimes there's a bit of extra care that is needed, whether it's a conversation or just a transparency or even in thinking about your work and how you're contributing. Um, the word that's coming up from the guides right now is complacency. So that may resonate with some of you. Complacency, if that's a thing. We can always improve. We can always make things better. But it requires effort and work, and that must be mutual. That must be mutual. Okay, Oracle Clarification. What's coming up here for Elevation of Spirit is Healing. For, fe sorry, feeling. <laughs> uh, elevation of uh, Spirit is Feeling. Healing is Abundance. We have transformation within your work and business endeavors. Shine within the effect of others and experiences of others around you and shadow with surprises. I'm going to work my way backwards by starting at the base of the deck here, which is humor. For some of you, there may be answers of where you are going or where you're trying to go through humor. When we think about this infinite wisdom within our initial starlight frequencies, this may be that time when you truly tap into the lightness. It can be so easy to center on the heaviness of everything. But what about some lightness? What are the things that truly are joyful about past situations or not even dipping into the past? Let's just keep moving forward. For some of you, you might be saying that I don't wanna go into the past, I just wanna move forward. How can you find humor in the moment, in those moments where you're uncertain, when you're feeling a bit too much because of the transformation that's required of you? when you're doubting your abundance, even though you have it, and doubting how you can shine light on others because there's so many shadows that are in your way. You all have such transparency in these times as you carry this astral plane light. People have the ability to be drawn to you. They see you, they see what you hold. So don't doubt yourself. Know that you are seen and you are being seen. So if we specifically look at this elevation of spirit with feeling, we see that you've had a conflict here. There were some unfair things that took place. Five of wands, or five of swords is all about kind of taking away the ability for others to defend themselves. There might be a figure um, within your life or someone close to you or close to another person that's not in your life. And there's some feelings that are unresolved here. That's what I'm picking up. But there's an abundance that you have with how you're thinking through it. I see that you're making plans. But the Hierophant, that's kind of like divine order. And there's a part here where as much as you may be trying to make plans yourself, you have to eventually hand this over to divine energy. You have to let the guides enter into your space 
and do the work that you have planned. Do your best, yes. Make it easy for them. But there is a part where you have to hand it over for, to them and start moving through some transformation, which is definitely showing up within your work and professional life. There are some things that need to be discussed in a manner so you're not taking up so much work and so much time and so much headspace. There needs to be a transformation. There's three roses here with a butterfly. And so there's an imagination that needs to be rebirthed here. And I see that for some of you, you may be dealing with some fiery energies with the shine in Leo coming up. Leos are all about, of course, just proudness, just bravery. How can you be brave in what you're doing? This offer that may be coming toward you or maybe you're offering something to another person. If you don't have a happy home, it's time to shine some light and make a decision on what you'd actually like to happen. But lurking here is also the shadows that may come up from the past. There are some choices here. There's some very youthful, unfocused, passionate energy. I'm not seeing a rush of anything moving forward, but I am seeing that there is a bit of shadow here. And just to clarify that, I am just going to pull a few more cards just so we can have clarification on that energy. Insights from the guides, clarification into the shadows. Yeah, so I'm seeing here that there's the Ace of Wands. There is a passion that was once there that has gone out, some type of passion that's been turned off. There's been a turn off because of some type of betrayal that happened and it's caused you potentially to tap into your higher energy. But what I'm also gathering here with the Ten of Swords that this is in the past. This is very much in the past. Being very pulled toward this shadow energy to clarify this for the collective. I'm going to pull an additional Starlight Frequency card for some insights here. Truth Seeker. Okay. The guides are speaking. Truth Seeker, 42. Numerology six, so loyalty, domestic, responsibility, love, family. Those are all representations by the number of six in numerology. So the guides are saying here, strengthen your intuitive senses and lift the veil from your mind's eye for a clearer connection to source. You have the high priestess here. What I'm gathering is there is a truth that's coming your way from a past betrayal of passion Okay, my butterflies, thank you so much for joining here. Before we go, I'm just gonna do and send you off with a healing tarot reading here. These cards are from the Spells deck and they just give you like nice, fun kind of home remedies that you can do related to your reading to bring in some more good energy in addition to all the beautiful sage or Palo Santo or, you know, whatever that you all do to cleanse your space. Okay. So insights from the guides of supporting healing from this reading. Insights from the guides for supportive healing from this reading. Okay, let's just take in the color and energy. So there's a redness to here, which can mean a lot of things. There's birth, heart space, love, energy, um, blood, which can signify life in so many ways with healing. And then we have here on the back enchantment. Enchantment. 
Let's just sit with that for a minute. <laughs> so, enchantment. Bewitching beauty truly comes from routine, self-love, care, and celebration. Celebrate and create a butter for a daily dose of glamour magic. So the guides are really asking you to love on yourself here. Love on your skin. What you can do here is combine cocoa butter, beeswax, and some oils. Put that in an oven-proof glass container. And then you want to place that container in warm water and let the ingredients just melt. Pour into a jar and stir as the butter cools, adding essential oils. And then once cooled, lovingly massage from your feet up and chant. I am blessed with alluring toes, legs, arms, and chest. I'll repeat that again. I am blessed with alluring toes, legs, arm, and chest. This is a way that you are first enchanting yourself before you enchant others. You all are in a time of opening your astral plane. You are being given an invitation from the guides to accept the truth that will come your way. And you are being called to also utilize that infinite wisdom that you are given on a daily basis. This is a wonderful and beautiful reading, Butterflies. That is all I'm being asked and called to read at this time. I will send you off your way with just a bit of Palo Santo. I hope that this has served you well. If you would like to connect for the weekly or weekend readings, you can always uh, connect within the link. Those are currently on Spotify and also on um, Google Podcasts and iTunes soon. And you are more than welcome to donate to this channel at any time as it grows. Okay, butterflies, thank you so much for connecting here today. It's always a joy and pleasure to bring you closer into connection with your transformation. Until next time, goodbye, butterflies.